Maniacs. We lived in a fucked up world. I'm gonna tell you right now. So I learned about something. I heard rumors about it yesterday. But I, I, I didn't dive too much into it at the time. But then I started noticing a lot of channels that I watch talking about this. I'm, a, I'm just gonna assume the title of the video says everything. Very self-explanatory. But basically... And I did look up the person's channel because I was curious. I didn't look at anything, obviously, but I was curious to see, you know, how how they were doing as a channel goes. And I'm sure a lot of people at this point probably unsubscribed to them, rightfully so. Basically, what was going on was there was a YouTuber by the name of Zavgirl who was into the true crime stuff and everything, which is fine. I don't, that's fine. There's, there's several, I, I, I do like true crime stuff every once in a while. But I found, and look, you can be in the true crime, okay? You can be in the dead stuff. I don't care. It, that's fine. If you find it fascinating, if you find it, like, if you're curious on, like, what was going through their mind before they had lost complete sanity or what, you know, caused them to do what they did, I get it. I do. It's fascinating stuff for sure. Will I ever approve of it? No. I, I still, you know, view every serial killer as a piece of shit human being. I still always will. I love the Dahmer shirt that came out on Netflix, but you'll never see me walking around with Jeffrey Dahmer shirt because I'm not going to support that guy. I, I watched the show because, you know, I was curious about it, and it was a well-performed show, and it was well-directed. But there's... Even when your channel is dedicated to true crime, there's always a fine line that you should never cross, and you could not tell me otherwise that this individual who does watch all this true crime stuff is not smart enough to realize that charging people monthly to look at an 11 year old boy an 11 year old boy's corpse and on an autopsy table is a good idea how do you come to that conclusion Oh, well, since I'm a true crime channel, I'm going to go ahead and show people extra content. And Patreon is for extra content, but then uh, there is a fine line you should never cross. And boy, oh boy, you crossed that fucking line. And did you do it with rising colors or whatever the fucking term is? That is so inhumane to do to somebody's privacy. This is an 11 year old kid. Fuck, it doesn't even matter who it is. Why the fuck are you charging people and taking autopsy pictures? She didn't take them, I'm assuming, but she got these autopsy pictures and tr trying to charge people extra money to look at them. Like, do you, do you honestly know how fucked up this whole situation is? I'm gonna go ahead and watch the video, the News Nation report on the situation. I don't know much about it myself, and they actually released the photos to her. She had to pay. They released the photos, and she got them. Uh, and you can just imagine, based on the description of the way that little boy was killed, what those photos looked like. Zav Girl then proceeded to post them on her Patreon account, which is an account attached to her YouTube page. And she charged her followers money to see the autopsy photos. For $3, you could see little Gannon's body. She was making money off of that little boy's autopsy photos. Autopsy photos of a, a severely beaten to death little boy, really they just, just got no place on the internet. It was hard enough for the jury to have to look at them. But for this YouTuber to go to all that trouble to request them, to pay the money, yeah. to yeah. get them from the government, and yeah. not only post them, but then to charge people to see them. I mean, I, I just find it sick. And I question, you know, has, has Brian's take, is Brian uh, the news reporter guy? I'm assuming uh, it is truly sick for someone to profit off of this horrific crime. Zav girl is uh, hiding behind her computer and showing no regard for a grieving family. And at this rate, Zav girl, you can't blame them for feeling this way towards you. You should have been smart enough to know this was a horrible idea, regardless if you do true crime or not. Horrible and sickening. You should be absolutely 100% ashamed. You should be ashamed right now. Has Zav Girl ever even... And you do deserve to lose your followers. You absolutely do. I would be surprised right now if you still had followers on your Patreon page at this rate. 
Because I'm going to be honest with you. Even if beforehand, if I was a patron to your channel, because I, let's say, enjoyed your channel, I it wouldn't... I, no, I would no longer be your patron. I'd be gone. 100%. Been in a courtroom or interviewed a grieving family? Probably That's not. my issue with some of these YouTubers that cause problems. They hide behind their computers. They don't even use their real names. Like in this case, we don't even know who Zav Girl really is. Uh, and if you're so proud of your- So is she- I'm sorry to keep pausing this, uh, this guy, but is she one of those people who never shows her faces? Like, always has, like, a, uh, a custom thing made, like, you know, the YouTuber dream or something? Like, they have this smiley face, but they never show their faces or something along those lines? Not, you know, not trying to compare Dream to Zav Girl. I'm just saying that was just kind of an example of those YouTube kind of YouTubers. But... Paige, I don't know why people don't just use their real name. And this isn't some video game or TV show you're playing on your computer. You know, th this is a real family's life. This morning, Zav Girl, she got a lot of heat for this. She posted a statement on her YouTube Rightfully page so. about the controversy. Uh, it was deleted. It's back up now. Uh, I screen grabbed it. This is part of it. She wrote, the reality of the situation is that different people feel, feel differently about this. Some people are genuine, genuinely think making a video, including the autopsy photos, is bad, and I respect their opinion and feelings. Other people, like myself, think of autopsy photos and the coroner discussing, explaining... It her response to this is horrible. Horrible. Other people like myself think of the autopsy photos of the coroner discussing explaining them as interesting and information and are able to view it at- What is there to fucking explain? It's a little boy's dead body. It's crazy to me some people fucking think like this. And look, I did explain, yes, serial killer, history of serial killers, yes, is very interesting. I- I'm not going to argue that. I actually like watching the serial killer documentaries myself. But when it comes to, like, autopsy photos of people who are deceased, man. No, I don't like fucking looking at them. I never did. There is a picture. Okay, and I'm not trying to get personal. There's a picture of one of my grandpas in this house. Uh, like, it, at his funeral where he's just lying there, right? I don't like seeing that photo. And I come across it every once in a while. Just out of random. It just, you know, comes up when I'm like, looking through a drawer or something. It comes up out of nowhere, and I always look away from it. I never like seeing that shit. And you're charging people to look at it. You look horrible. Her, her, oh god, her fucking excuse for this is next level. What the hell are you talking about, you psychopath? Sorry. Sorry. Dragging your audience into this, too. Making it sound like, you know, we're all interested in looking at a little boy's dead body on the autopsy table. Trying to make yourself look better. I don't even know what to say to this. I don't even know what to say. I'm actually just jumbled right now. I just... Interesting and informative. Uh, are all, all able to view it in a more scientific, detached way. No, I think the, the thing is, you thought, you know, you could use this as extra content for your Patreon page. Patreon page. Like, on my on my Patreon page, I, I show pictures of my cat church, right? Because everybody loves my cat church. I named him after the cat from Pet Cemetery. I'm a horror movie channel. And people like seeing extra content for him. So, yes... Uh, like, I charge people uh, a, about a dollar a month, right? About a dollar a month if you go to Patreon, and if you're a channel member, a buck ninety nine, so like two dollars a month. And sometimes I'll throw the extra picture of my cat church in there, right? Because, you know, they're paying monthly, and I'm like, hey, want some extra stuff? Here's some more per uh, church pics. And people love them. Just because you're a true crime channel, that does not mean you should be invading other people's privacy, getting pictures of other people's deceased... Dude, that's... Let let's be real. Trying to make money off of other people's suffering. That's what you're doing at the end of the day. You're making money off of other people's suffering. And it's fucked up. There is no good excuse for this. You fucked up big time. And now you are going to reap what you sow by losing your followers. And if they do follow you, they're only following you because of the controversy. You're not going to be viewed as a good thing anymore. You're going to be viewed as the person who was charging people to look at an autopsy of a dead little boy. That is fucked. And you earned it. You've earned it. Well, Zav Girl, there is nothing detached about posting the autopsy photos of an 11-year-old little boy and then, on top of it, which I really think pushes it over the line, charging money for people to see them. It, it is sick, it's deranged, and you should just own up to it. Whoever you are, wherever you live, uh, maybe get out from behind your computer screen, go to the local courthouse, and actually sit through a murder trial and see what it's like for the families in real life. Not on YouTube, not sitting behind your computer and thinking about clicks, uh, but actually go to the courthouse and see what these families actually have to deal with and then think about how it might feel for them 
after having to see those photos in the courtroom to then have, have them plastered all over the internet and then be trying to charge people money uh, to view them so you can get rich off of it. Um, it it's just awful. I want to bring in District Attorney Michael Allen, who served as the lead prosecutor uh, on Little Gannon's case. Thank you for being with us, Michael. You were the lead prosecutor. By, by the way, well said, well said. I actually 100% agree. It's never going to happen. She's never going to come out from under, behind her. She's probably scared to death right now. She's probably terrified because the second the world sees... I'm not sure if we've already seen what she looks like. I almost doubt it because you've already made it sound like you haven't. Or if you, if you, maybe, maybe she hasn't. Maybe this guy didn't do his research at all. But it doesn't sound like she's a person who would just show her face willy nilly. So I doubt she'll ever show her face after this. I'm sure she is going to go into hiding because she's going to be too afraid to even want to talk to her audience anymore after this. You had to go through that whole trial. Um, I, I can't even imagine. Like, this just got me so mad thinking about Gannon's family. Um, I know they're aware of this. I mean, how are they processing all of this? Well, thanks for having me on to talk about this, first off. Uh, we reached out to the family members and, and had discussions with them about this, just letting them know that, one, it's happening and sort of what they can do potentially to combat this. But honestly, there's nothing they can do to get these photos down once they're on the Internet. It's, it's just completely disrespectful uh, to the family members that had have had to live through this horror. But even more so, it's, I mean, Gannon deserves so much more in life uh, from his stepmother, and he certainly learned, uh, deserves dignity and respect in death. And, and there's nothing about what this YouTuber is doing, and, and I think there's another one out there as well that they're doing that oh. provides any dignity or respect to Gannon. And the statement that they there's another out, one about this incident, uh, sort of justifying it, it just rings hollow. Mm. Other ways to do this, uh, scientifically, uh, they could have used body diagrams that the autopsy also included, instead of putting the actual pictures of Gannon's just completely broken body uh, that reflects the depravity and horror that he had to live through and, and die at the hands of his stepmother, that he had to suffer, it's just, it's outright disgusting. And, and it just, speaks to the lowest of, of human forms in my opinion thank you for watching go to yeah this is uh this is next level fucked up yeah yeah i don't know if there's much i can say that i already have not said that i have already not stated against this youtuber again i'm actually kind of curious now that i uh think about it i'm actually kind of curious you're gonna go ahead and do some research with me really quick PayPal donations. I am already probably going to assume she took down her Patreon page. Ah, uh, wait a second. Pips, Let's take a look here. Yeah, it seems like she's the person who does not like to show her face. Zav girl creating videos. Let's see. This page has been removed. No actual kidding. I was kind of wanting to see how many patrons she had at the moment. I'll give her credit, though. That was probably a good idea, destroying your Patreon page. Yeah, that was not a bad idea. Sorry, I just, I cannot respect anybody who who would do something like this and then try to make an excuse like that. It would have been one thing if she came out and said, you know what? I fucked up. I fucked up. I figured since I was a true crime channel, this might be some interesting stuff, but I really did not even take it. Because she could have come out and said something like that. Maybe with her face shown and everything like that, people would have probably have given her more of a leeway. But instead, she kind of just came out, showed her true colors, and was like, you know what, we find this shit interesting. So, uh, yeah. We find it interesting. I don't care what you think. Some people don't like it. We like it. We like looking at this 11-year-old boy's dead body on the autopsy table. Yeah. Our, my whole community does, right? We find it interesting as fuck. Do you know how that sounds? Do you know how that fucking sounds to... I don't... Dude, I, I don't know. I'm about done. I'm about done. That's probably all I'll make on this thing. I, I just wanted to give my thoughts out there, and my thoughts probably went exactly as I thought they were going to. Which is, this is just disgusting. This is... uh, It's embarrassing being on the same platform as people like this. There are people out there who are like this. Poor kid, dude. Poor kid. Fucking hell. I'd sue the fuck out of her. That's what I'd be doing. I hope the family's getting something together to go out and find this girl. And sue her for everything she's literally got. I don't think there's much more I could say about this subject, guys. Please leave your comments down below.